Let's talk about how to improve your thyroid through fixing your liver, okay? And I'm talking about a fatty liver. There's a huge significant link between hypothyroid conditions and a fatty liver. The higher the liver enzymes are, the worse the thyroid is. And I'm talking about thyroid stimulating hormone. It's gonna be lowered. Now, what is the connection between these two organs? Well, if you don't know this, 80% of the conversion from T4, which is the inactive thyroid hormone, to T3, which is the active thyroid hormone, occurs through your liver. So the body needs the liver to convert most of that hormone. 20% is through the kidney. So if there's kidney damage, that's also gonna inhibit the conversion. So if you can improve the liver just by a little bit, you're gonna create huge improvements in the thyroid. Now, the other thing about hypothyroid conditions is that 90% of the time, it's a Hashimoto's type. That's an autoimmune issue, which is different because there are antibodies against the thyroid. So you basically have the immune system uh, attacking the thyroid and that keeps it inflamed. And that's another issue too, because if the thyroid is not working and you develop Hashimoto's, hypothyroidism, just the fact that you have hypothyroidism, that can even contribute to a fatty liver. But in the majority of the cases, the, the root cause of a fatty liver is either fructose or some high carb diet. It is not the fat that you're eating that's causing the fatty liver, like a lot of people talk about. It's the carbohydrates that are converting. Some of the studies that people quote on having a high fat diet causes fatty liver, uh, if you ever read them, they're on mice and they're not actually just a high fat diet. They're a high fat, high carbohydrate diet. If you mix the two, that's even worse because that's gonna exaggerate things. So this is what I'm gonna recommend, okay, to improve this situation. We're just gonna improve the function of the liver, but there are certain things that we can actually work on both at the same time. Like selenium, for example, is a very powerful antioxidant. It can also detoxify mercury too. So selenium is not just good for the thyroid, it's also good for the liver. If you have an autoimmune case, um, you're gonna generate a lot of hydrogen peroxide, and this will act as an antioxidant to kind of counter the free radical damage that occurs from your own immune system. Number two, healthy keto and intermittent fasting essential for removing fat from the liver. We're cutting the carbs down and we're also doing intermittent fasting. Now what's gonna happen is that if you have a belly and you have fat around the organs, your body is going to go after the fatty liver first. So you may not see it uh, on your belly because you're gonna be losing weight on the inside. So once the liver fat is gone and then you'll start seeing reduction in your belly or at least you'll see it a lot faster. So this is very, very important. Milk thistle is one of the best herbs for the liver to help uh, strengthen the function of the liver cells. Choline is a type of B vitamin that will act directly on the liver and it will actually help dissolve some of this fat. And by the way, guess what food is high in choline? Egg yolks, interesting. And number five, zinc is not just good for the thyroid, but the liver as well, and vitamin D. So vitamin D, zinc, and selenium are really good for an autoimmune situation, but it's also good for the liver. So in summary, follow this list, improve the liver to actually help your thyroid. And lastly, check out these other very interesting videos on the thyroid that I have on this page.